We are going to continue from part 11 of user email verification in Spring Boot. In the previous class, we were able to actually create the signed registration email and updated the user service. So in this part, we are now going to update the HTML form to include email field. And we're also going to um, add the script for checking if the password match. Uh, we're also going to add the template for successful uh, user registration. So let's go ahead to follow the steps uh, in step 11. So the first thing we want to do is to create the, the email verification template. We call it email verification.html. So this is the template that formats the body of the email that is sent to the user. So I'm going to the mailing directory. I think we did create the mailing. Uh, okay, we've not. Okay, so it says create the mailing directory in the template folder. So I'm going to create a directory called mailing. And inside the mailing directory, I'm going to create a new HTML file called email verification.html and the content, the email, uh, the HTML content, you don't have to go far, just click on this link and simply copy and paste because they already formatted it for you. If you want, you can actually customize it to your liking, but when the email is received, you'll see how the body of this uh, email looks like and then you can see different sections of this uh this uh, template the next thing the next thing we want to create is the registration successful template this is the page that displays to the user when uh an email verification is uh signed to the user so this page says you successfully registered please check your email we are going to create this uh template in the securities folder and the name is going to be it's going to be HTML file is going to be registration successful successful and the content is also right here so click on this uh, button on that link and just take the content from there so right here from here click on the link and simply replace everything here Okay, so I'm saving everything. Um, the next thing says modify the registration template to include both the username and the email. So we are going to modify the register template. So not the registration template, but the register template. So if you scroll down, you see that the register template includes only the the, the username, but now we are going to include email as well. So I'm going to copy this and paste uh, so that we have one more field. I'm going to, so this input we are going to modify it. So the name is going to be, in this case, email. And the placeholder is going to be email. Now we are going to add required. Um, so we have required, required. Um, so now we've modified to add the email field right here. We also want to modify the password fields to test whether the passwords match. So this is not really related to um, email verification. It's just additional step to to just make the uh, application complete. So if, if the password match, you want doesn't match. You want to tell the user that there's an error. The password doesn't match, and also the email pattern. You also want to check that the email uh, is a is a is a is a valid email. We are going to write a function called on change. So when this text box is changed and it doesn't match, you are going to tell the user immediately at the client side. So this function is a JavaScript function. We are going to write it right now. It's going to take the content of the two passwords and simply check if they match. We are going to write a function. The name of the function is unchange, as already I've mentioned. Okay, 
So there is a function that checks if the passwords match and I think everything should be fine. Okay, so I'm going to stop this lesson here and in the next part, we are now going to update the application security config and then do some testing to make sure email is sent. So I'd like to thank you for viewing. If you've not subscribed to my channel, please uh, subscribe to my channel and we'll see you in the next part.